So a few months ago, Brumbies were doing this thing called Brumbies Search for Australia's Gourmet Pie Guy. They were running a competition where men across Australia nominated themselves or were nominated to be Australia's Gourmet Pie Guy. Now they didn't really specify what that means or what that entails, but the prize was $10,000 and a ridiculous title, so I had to enter. Not so much for the money, but I really wanted to be Australia's gourmet pie guy. So this is my story. Are you a gourmet guy, or do you know one? So I entered the competition, I put in a really nice photo of myself, and then I had to write my best gourmet trait, and then I had to write up to 1,500 words describing why I should be Australia's very first gourmet pie guy. I can't remember exactly what I wrote, but it was something about pies, I think. After I submitted my application, the campaign began. What's it take to be Australia's gourmet pie guy? I really wanted to win this, so I put in a lot of effort. I made some posters, some campaign posters, demonstrating why I should be a gourmet pie guy. Now, I quite cleverly noticed that pie rhymes with quite a few words, especially words that occur in the James Bond films quite often. So that was kind of my hook to get people voting. I spammed all my friends and family. Quite a few people were behind me. I had support from all over Australia. It was beautiful. And I did, at one stage, make it into the top 12. Now that's important because, as well as the $10,000 winner, there was a $500 reward for the first 11 runners up. So I really wanted to be in the top 12. I think my highest was around 400 votes. But there was this guy called Jacob from Burley Heads. I'm not going to use his real photograph for reasons that will become clear later. Anyway, he had amassed over 16,000 votes by the time the competition was closing. 16,000 votes. I was only on 400. I was neck and neck with this guy called Aaron from Turinga. His profile was very much in the spirit of mine. He, uh, you know, talked up his pie eating ability and his fondness for pies. So he was a man after my own heart. All the other entrants were just like, they were going to use the money to like give to charities and stuff, which is pretty noble, I guess. But you know, Australia's gourmet pie guy should go to like a guy that likes pies or something. Anyway, the way it worked is once the top 12 were decided with an Australia wide vote, from those top 12, there would then be a second round of voting where all of Australia voted for those 12 nominees. So I really wanted to be in the top 12. The deadline was the 26th of August. So about a week before, I was in the top 12. I, I kept going back and forth between the 12th and the 13th. Now I did something I'm not hugely proud of, but I did notice there was a woman there in the top 12. I did send a message to Brumbies just to clarify that. Now I'm not gonna be one of those idiots on the internet complaining about women. There's plenty of them, but my issue is if there's a competition called the Gourmet Pie Guy, then surely women would be discouraged from entering. So they wouldn't enter. There'd be a lot of worthy female candidates not entering that competition. This one particular uh, woman, her name was Deb. She was on a tractor. You know, that's pretty bold of her. So fair enough for that. Anyway, my main issue was that, well, basically my main issue was that she was in the top 12 and I was coming 13th, so if she was eliminated, I'd be in the top 12 for sure. I'm not proud of that. Don't lump me in with those weirdos on the internet who cry about women all the time. So I kept checking to see where my numbers were. I was close to the top 12, 13, 12, 13. It was neck and neck between me and Aaron from Turinga. And I knew there would be no way that I would get the 1600 votes that Jacob had gotten, but... I really wanted to be in the top 12. The 26th rolled around, competition closed, and I was not in the top 12. So the Australian public had voted. They thought I was merely the 13th 
most gourmet pie guy in Australia. It was a pretty tough day to get that news. It was a rough afternoon. Again, I'm not proud of my behavior, but I even included a rant about Brumbies in, in one of my videos. Especially not Brumbies, they're dead to me. I will not say their name again, in fact. Which thankfully didn't make the edit, but I think you can see in the footage that I was still pretty raw. There was a lot of raw emotion there. Brumbies, I'm not talking about them. So I wrote a concession speech, delivered that to my supporters. I officially endorsed Aaron from Taringa for the role of Pie Guy. I had some contact with him. We both shaked our fist at Jacob from Burley Heads. And uh, yeah, I wished Aaron all the best and I really hoped he would win the Gourmet Pie Guy. I went for a long walk and just tried to forget my failure. Voice message received at 2.51 p.m. Hey, Matt, it's Cameron from the Bumby's marketing team. I'm just ringing to let you know that you have won $500 because you are a gourmet pie guy runner-up. If you could check your email, I sent you a winner certificate. Um, just fill out your information on there and send it back to me when you can, and we can organize payment for you. Thank you, and enjoy your prize. I was as shocked as you. So I was announced as one of the top 12 winners when previously I'd come 13th. I was very, very confused. I did a little bit of researching. So I asked Brumbies what was happening. Why, uh, why was I in 13th? And they said they went back and they recounted some of the votes and they took out all of the non-genuine votes. When the top 12 gourmet pie guys of Australia were announced, Jacob from Burley Heads was not on the list. So Mr. 16,000 votes apparently had uh, acquired some of those votes inauthentically. I'm not calling anyone a cheater, but it does make you think. So who did win the crown? Who was voted Australia's Gourmet Pie Guy? It was actually this guy, David. He had a pretty good profile as well. He said that he is a lover of pies. So it's good to see it went to someone in the, in the spirit of the pie competition. He's going to use the money to eat a pie on every continent, which is good. You know, a lot of continents I imagine don't have meat pies. I don't know how he's gonna do that. Maybe he'll bring his own sergeant's meat pies or something. Anyway, this guy, he's, uh, he's actually like the comedy producer on The Project, that Channel 10 show, and he also has his own podcast. So it's a bit unfair that someone with a profile, like not a huge profile, but anyway, a profile nonetheless, won a competition where you uh, essentially win by having the most votes. So of course a guy who knows lots of people online is probably going to win. Anyway, I'll leave that to Brumbies to sort out any of those wrinkles later. So Australia, as presented by Brumbies, here is your top 12 gourmet pie guys. We can all agree that whatever the discrepancies, pies won on the day.